Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the best keyboards for programmers of 2022. All the links to the products are given in the description video below. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Number one, Corsair K95 RGB Platinum XT. Excellent for gaming, the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum XT keyboard is also adaptable enough for other tasks. All keys, including the six macro keys, may be programmed using the proprietary software, and RGB lighting can be changed. The keyboard boasts a sturdy construction with a wrist rest that should be comfortable for most users. Although the double shot PBT keys have an excellent feel and provide decent tactile feedback, they sometimes feel a little hefty. Most of the keys still function on Linux and Mac OS despite their unfortunate limited compatibility with both operating systems. It feels better than the Corsair K95 Platinum, which it replaces. For gaming, the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum XT is fantastic. The keyboard has outstanding build quality overall, and the double shot PBT keycaps are superb and feel sturdy. The RGB backlighting is excellent for gaming in the dark and there are six dedicated programmable macro keys on the left side. The tactile keys could seem a little too hefty for gamers, but fortunately, the click latency is minimal. Number two, AND Pro 2. The Aubin's Lab AND Pro 2 is a superb 60% small gaming keyboard that looks stylish in most computer settings and feels very well built. Exceptionally low wired latency, full RGB backlighting, individually lit keys, and macro programmable keycaps are just a few of its features. Our keyboard utilizes Gateron Brown switches which provide good feedback, aren't too loud, and offer outstanding typing quality. This keyboard is available with a broad selection of switch configurations. Unfortunately, the keyboard's height, the absence of incline settings or wrist rest, and the fact that there are no arrow keys may annoy some users during extended typing sessions. The Aubin's Lab and Pro 2 keyboard is an excellent choice for gamers. The Gateron Brown switches on our items have solid build quality, excellent tactile feedback, and require little force to operate. Additionally, it boasts individually lit keys and complete RGB illumination, and the associated software allows macros to be assigned to any key. Unfortunately, its ergonomics are subpar because it lacks a wrist rest and changeable incline settings. Number three, Kinesis Advantage 2. A curved keyboard called the Kinesis Advantage 2 was created to maximize comfort and productivity. It is the most recent model in the hugely well-liked Advantage range from venerable ergonomics company Kinesis. It promises to lessen the force and unnecessary hand movement needed when typing and encourage a neutral wrist position. The Kinesis Advantage 2 can be an excellent option if you're suffering from wrist pain or an overuse issue by typing. In my situation, it turned out to be the best investment I had made for my wrist pain. However, it is not inexpensive and has a sizable learning curve. The Kinesis Advantage 2 uses a split layout, like many other excellent ergonomic keyboards. Each hand has its own separate space in this arrangement. The split arrangement, though, is a genuinely fantastic invention, with the wrists in a neutral posture. This design enables the arms to rest shoulder width apart. Wrist straightening lessens ulnar deviation and wrist abduction. To minimize finger extension and promote muscle relaxation, the keys are designed in a bowl shape. Number four, Razer Black Widow Elite. It's hard to beat the Razer Black Widow Elite as a gaming keyboard with two incline settings and retractable wrist rest. This wired only device has a solid feel and superb ergonomics. For gaming in a dark environment, the full RGB backlighting is fantastic and is easily adjustable via the Razer Synapse 3 software. Additionally, you may build different profiles with your chosen settings and assign macros to any key. Your gaming experience will be light and responsive because of the low operating force and short pre-travel of the tactile Razer orange switches on our device. You can also have it with linear Razer yellow switches or clicky Razer green switches. The Razer Black Widow Elite's short pre-travel distance and low operating force make it a superb gaming keyboard. Additionally, it is nicely made, and gamers will value the customizing possibilities it offers, like the ability to record macros or control the entire RGB backlighting. You can select the switch type that best suits your desired gaming style from three distinct switch kinds. Number 5. Daz Keyboard 4 
The wired mechanical keyboard. The DAS keyboard for professional is respectable. It is a full-sized model, solidly constructed with controls specifically for media, like a big volume wheel that is simple to use. The Cherry MX Brown switches in our soft tactile model offer a light and responsive typing experience with good tactile feedback. They're not the best for quiet office settings, though, as they tend to be a little louder when typing noise. It has a foot bar to use as a measuring tool or to set the slope. However, it is missing a wrist rest. Sadly, it lacks backlighting, customizable keys, and customization software. Last but not least, its relatively high latency for a wired keyboard may disappoint more serious gamers despite not impacting desktop use. Gaming performance from the DAS keyboard for professional is average. Although the Cherry MX Brown switches on this keyboard have a short pre-travel distance and a light actuation force, their latency is higher than that of other wired keyboards. Sadly, it lacks programmable keys and illumination. The ergonomics are okay, there is no wrist rest and only one inclined setting. Number six, Microsoft Sculpt. The Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard is a beautiful workplace keyboard for people prone to repetitive strain injuries. Its split keyboard layout and reverse slope support a more natural typing stance to ease the strain on the wrists. Unfortunately, using this keyboard takes time and disposable batteries seem pretty archaic. However, if you frequently work in front of a computer all day, this keyboard might be able to stop such accidents. For programming, the Microsoft Sculpt is inadequate. The keys feel a little mushy and there are no dedicated macro keys, but they offer an excellent typing experience and are ergonomically pleasing. Only Windows users can use the customization software. The several keys are inoperable on Mac OS and Linux. The Microsoft Sculpt works well in an office setting. You can type all day thanks to its ergonomic design, which shouldn't tire you. However, getting used to the split keyboard design takes some time and some people might find the keys to be a little soft. The very little typing noise shouldn't irritate your coworkers. Although the keyboard's overall construction quality is respectable, the pad printed key legends may eventually fade. So that's all for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If yes, please do like, share, and subscribe, and share to your friends and family.